Hello guys, we're back. We have a lot to update you guys on. So we got married finally. I think, I they, I think they've seen they coming. would have seen the video by now. I mean, I, we posted it on our socials. Um, we posted it on Instagram and all that stuff, but we didn't really post anything on YouTube yet. Um, but the thing is, it was just such a busy time. We vlogged everything, but we didn't post anything. And now I've been slowly editing. So this is us in the future. And then soon you will be seeing us in the past, like even before the wedding, all of the events before the wedding, we vlogged everything. Um, we just didn't have time to edit. So yeah, that's what you'll be seeing after this clip. Also an update is that we have booked a trip to Vietnam. Let's go. We're hometown. And I want to like post everything that happened before we post anything about Vietnam too. So that's why I'm trying to like brush with the editing. Cause yeah, there's a lot to edit. 10,000 hours of footage. A lot of things footage. happened. We got our visas today. Yeah. Show them our visas. I just want to show you guys the like the color of these Vietnam visas. It's pretty nice it's color. It's such a pretty color. We just picked it up today, with, so with the gold. Farm. They're like nice and fresh. How cute are these visas? But anyways, yeah, things are moving. Things are happening. We're trying to have a baby. We're trying to start a family. So <laughs> there's so many things going on and. We want to take you along with us. Today we're just going uh, shopping for some uh, clothes for the trip. Yeah, and a lot of people's birthdays coming up. I have to like think about who to buy for right now. And yeah, that's about it. So enjoy the rest of this video. This video is going to be about the steak and dough, which happens way before the wedding. But we're going to be posting it now. May 22nd, to, yeah. to be oh specific. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's been a while. Almost a, a year. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, like seven months. Yeah, seven months. But, but there was way too much going on. We were just ridiculously busy. You'll see, you'll see. Enjoy the video. Hey everyone, so long time, we will see. We haven't vlogged in so long. We like didn't even vlog almost the whole pandemic because the pandemic just took forever and we weren't really doing much. We were just like staying at home and working and whatever. But now we are officially planning our wedding, finally. We were engaged in 2018. We wanted to wait for a little bit before we got married and then we waited a little bit too long because the pandemic hit all of that but now we're planning a wedding we're planning a wedding in mexico i don't even know if we mentioned Mexico. all this i don't think we did because it's been so long and then all of a sudden our restrictions and everything in ontario which is where we live our restrictions lifted um the mandates lifted so we can have a little bit more fun before we leave for mexico so now we're planning our steak and dough here um in Canada and then we're also planning a tea ceremony a traditional Vietnamese wedding here before we leave for Mexico so I feel like we're planning everything kind of last minute like compared to how someone would normally plan things for a wedding but here we are and we're having a lot of fun doing it actually um, right now specifically we are picking up our stag and doe tickets so we're really excited to see how that's gonna turn out um, we made our Facebook event page already. Um, yeah, we have a lot of donations for the Stag and Doe. If you don't know what a Stag and Doe is though, it is kind of like a small town tradition. I don't think a lot of big cities do this, at least the people that I know that live in Toronto, they don't even know what a Stag and Doe is, some people, some of them. But a Stag and Doe is a small town tradition where the community gets together, donates to the bride and groom. The bride and groom throw a huge party and use those donations as prizes uh, for raffles, giveaways, for um, prizes for different games. So it's a really nice tradition. So we wanted to do that because we thought it would be a lot of fun. And we know a lot of business owners. Um, and we just know that we could put a really good stag and dough together. Um, but yeah, sorry I'm coming at you with absolutely no makeup on for the first 
time talking to you guys in a while. Um, but yeah, we're here and we're going to be picking up the tickets. So here is the print shop that I always use. Oh my gosh, guys, here are the tickets. We printed 500 of them. There's even more here. Look at all them. Uh, but we are going to have a door prize and we got them to perforate in between the actual ticket and the door prize section so we can just rip it off. I didn't even know they could do that, but I asked them and they said yes, so that's perfect. Um, the door prize is huge. So the door prize is? The door prize is a trip for two, anywhere in the world, wherever you choose, valued at $2,500. Yes. I feel like usually people have like TVs, um, I don't know, like a cooler full of drinks for their door prize, but we wanted to do something really big. We put in our own money for it. So yeah, tickets are $20, a little bit more than usual as well, but we think it'll be worth it for everyone. And a lot of people already actually want to buy 10 tickets just to win the door prize. Mm -hmm. So it's actually working out pretty well. This is where the restaurant is. This is her restaurant and she's actually donating to our steak and dough. So if you're around, come check it out. So I'm here with Kaden. You good? So cute. Talking tickets over wine. Always a good time. We're outside. Kaden, why are you so handsome? Why are you so handsome? Look at this handsome boy. Oh my goodness. He's Mommy's so good. gonna get you treats. Hi guys. So I'm just gonna prop you up right here. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm sorting out balloons. Um, this is all for the stag and dough. We are still doing the stag and dough thing. Planning it out and everything but everything has been so crazy and I really, really want to vlog this part of our life because even though it's so hectic, I'm like, I need to like take time to vlog because I just want to look back on this and like see it in the future. Uh, maybe one day our kids, our future kids will see it. I don't know. I think it might be a fun thing to vlog. So yeah, it's just been crazy busy. Um, we moved into a new place i don't even remember the last time we vlogged honestly it's been so long i'm actually filming on my phone because our camera just sucks like it just it's not good anymore we need a new camera which is why i've like postponed vlogging for so long that's just one reason the other reason is that we were living with my parents for a while during the pandemic because at the beginning of the pandemic um I feel like I explained why we're in Niagara Falls now. Also, there's footsteps upstairs because we also live in an Airbnb. But anyways, okay, so let me just give you a little rundown of our life now. I'm just going to start off when we first moved um, to Niagara Falls. So first of all, we've been living, if you're new here, we've been living in um, the Toronto GTA area. Um, first we lived downtown and then we moved to Mississauga and then from there the pandemic happened um, and then my parents were just like oh it would be so nice to have like everyone together during 
um, this lockdown because everyone was freaking out about the lockdown, right? No one knows what was going to happen, but they told us, I believe the first thing they said was that we were going to be in a lockdown for two months. So that. So for some reason, this clip decided to go slow-mo on me. This is editor future Julie here. Um, I just wanted to explain the rest of the story. So the lockdown, they said that was going to last for two months, kept extending. And by the sixth month of still paying rent in Toronto while we were still staying at my parents' house and not even knowing if we would be going back to Toronto, everything seemed up in the air. We decided to get rid of our place in Toronto and stop paying rent and just stay at my parents' house. And as you guys know, the pandemic actually lasted for years. And as things started to ease up with restrictions and everything for COVID, Hong found a job in Niagara um, and I was able to work from Niagara as well. So really there was no reason for us to go back to Toronto. So we just stayed here. We found a place here and we're using the upstairs as an Airbnb for extra income. And basically, this is what we've been doing while planning for our wedding. Is everything pretty much in a nutshell? I think. Oh no, they're still here. But I think they're going to be leaving soon, so I'm going to have to finish <laughs> counting my balloons. Um, I bought all these balloons for the Sagan Dough to make like a helium balloon arch. Um, I'll see how that goes. I was thinking of buying like helium tanks and doing it myself. And I'm like, I don't think I'm going to have time to do that. I'm just like, let's just get someone else to do it. I'll make the arch, but they can like blow up all the balloons, which will be a big help. So we'll do some more videos, some more vlogging now on this channel. So we're so excited to be starting up again. Like I know I'm so busy right now and like some days I kind of want to cry. Like I'm just thinking about it and I'm getting teary eyed <laughs> because it's like kind of stressful, but I'm happy and I'm, I guess the word is overwhelmed. Yeah, but I'm keeping it cool. Ooh, okay, but anyways, I'm also, yeah, I'm very, just very emotional right now. <laughs> Hey guys, we are in the middle of wrapping everything up for the gift baskets. Look at all this stuff. Oh, this actually looks crazy. Lots of prizes. Lots of prizes. This is my maid of honor, Amir. I feel like you've seen her many times in the vlogs. Yes. And now she's my maid of honor. <laughs> We're trying to wrap this up with this small cellophane. <laughs> Do. <laughs> but she definitely <laughs> knows what she's doing all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, it's like if they pick it up. What? Isn't it gonna all like fall down? Oh yeah. See, that's why she's the maid of honor because she knows these Thank things. You. She's a thinker. So a lot of people donated a bunch of stuff, and we're making gift baskets with all the stuff, we're trying to like get it organized and. Trying to make sense of everything basically and then i also bought like some topper things to just add to the gift prizes the raffle prizes tablecloth oh, table oh my gosh a jello oh i got i'll show you where this goes this is for the jello shots right over here look how many jello shots we're gonna make yep i hope you saw all of them Okay, we're gonna get into it and then we'll show you everything when everything is done. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this upgrade though <laughs> <laughs> from what it was before. Oh, so we just used a laundry basket, which actually works. And I actually bought that. I don't even know why I bought that. It was like only $4 at the dollar store. We're now using it as a basket. And then for all these like cleaning supplies, everybody needs all this stuff. Yeah. So these are things you don't really wanna buy, but you need it. So. Yeah. There you go. And then we're going to use these, like, uh, what are they? Like, like micro sheets? Micro fiber cloths. Yep. One of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's late, guys. Yeah. And then we're just going to decorate it with that, like tissue paper and voila. And voila. This is another prize that a beer got. Look at that. Would you just look at that? 
and then we're just gonna put it in the thing and then it's gonna look like that guys if you are planning a steak and dough this girl's hair <laughs> <laughs> okay guys oh my gosh can i not be so shiny <laughs> it is 2 14 and we are done for the night okay but look at our baskets that we did <laughs> all of them so this one is like games like a games night some chips and snacks the lotto ticket one so cool and then this one the laundry basket we showed you that earlier with all that stuff in it and then this one is another games night with some snacks this one is a really good one too it's a caesar basket but it's actually in a duffel bag and it's got all the things in there that you need to make a Caesar. And then we got this for like different cocktails. And then we got color changing cups, depending on the temperature. Some coolers in there. And then this is really cool. So this company, she makes rugs, but she made us these little cute pins, these heart pins. So she gave me like a pink one, red one, and black one. And we're just like dispersing them among the prizes. This one is going to be Amber Rosso's uh, photography, our cousin, or my cousin, her sister. Yeah, she has a gift certificate and a bottle. This is like a girly one. We have like a little Chanel ashtray that you can use for like jewelry if you wanted to. Some velour lashes. What is that? Like a makeup wipe. Some bedhead products. Texturizing spray. And then another Hibla pin. We have this. This is a really good one. They are donating $100 from the weed shop. So a bunch of products in here. That's what we got done. That's actually a lot, eh? Mm -hmm. But that's, yeah, we made a huge dent. Okay, guys, we are making more baskets. So Lynn is here. She's my bridesmaid. Hi. And then Navir is back. Don't look at my nails. Don't. Lynn, you're looking at my nails. <laughs> <laughs> it's distracting me. Beautiful. It doesn't Love matter you. what it looks like in the back. No, no. Because it'll be up against the wall. That's a cute basket. Yay. Very nice. <laughs> oh, I don't know if any of you guys have tried this Kit Kat. <laughs> Cantaloupe. <laughs> Cantaloupe. You know, this pineapple tumbler, sunscreen, Jolly Rancher. Oh my god. Very tropical vibes for sure. And this is our groom's man. Groom's man. Say hi. Not groom's man. That's the groom who's been busy running around today. <laughs> oh, look, look at that. Look at that. that. Oh, yes. Very nice. KJ gave us that. Yeah. There's special products inside the balloons. I think that's what John's gonna want to win. Special. Mm, I like my heart set. <laughs> I want to cut myself. A beer? What's going on? Oh, you have to keep the scissors closed. What? Is it open? I, I keep it closed. Do you? Yeah. Works oh, great. I open it. Really? Oh, that's very oh, unsafe. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> we live life on the very edge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Whoa! Ah, you ruined it. What? No, it's better. <laughs> it's a nice curl. You done messed it up. <laughs> Very <laughs> curly. Really? I'm so sorry. No, that's, good. that's perfect. Guys, this is what happens. To left to right, left to right. <laughs> <laughs> when you leave the freaking price perfect. tag on there yeah. after you wrap Me. it. Oh no! Oh no! Hold on. Wow. Yes. Yes. My drop. <laughs> We are making jello shots now. Starting off with orange. Amira oh, just got her nails done. Can we see? It's like a cow. Bits oh my cow. god. Hey. Don't zoom into my nails, I'll fight you. <laughs> and then a close up on my nose. Why is this stressing me out? Okay, no, you're grabbing Julie, your hold it with fine. two hands. Nope. Two hands, Julie. <laughs> Oh my god, guys. It's like evaporating into the air. Whoa. Is that good or bad? I don't know. She's gonna get like hot. Yeah, whoa. Look at it. Very cool. <laughs> Are you getting some good footage? Yes. 
one. Shot, shot, okay. shot. Who wants to take the shot? Could you Absolutely imagine? <laughs> Was that five or four? Is this five? <laughs> Guys! <laughs> no, do one more. This is literally the whole bottle. Wait, isn't it really hot? I don't know, just be, just blow a little bit. Just oh, <laughs> that's good. That's how we want everyone to look it's when good. they drink. <laughs> good. Yeah. We are in the process of making the jello shots. The lids are difficult, aren't they? We needed the challenge to <laughs> But look how good they look. Hong, what are you doing over here? We need money for the float. Well, <laughs> I need more than this. This is all I need, <laughs> yeah, this like is all I need for the stag, just like loonies and toonies, but I'm just doing all of this because why not? And I need this for the shop anyways. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> You're going to need more loonies and toonies than that. Yeah. Let's go to the back. Oh my gosh. Another late, late that night. Can't even talk. Um, okay, I'm gonna show you what we did. All the jaw shots. How much are that? 346 exactly. 346? Okay. Thanks, Amir. You're welcome. And then Johnny and Lynn already left. Honk sleeping. And yeah. That's it. Bye. That's it. Bye. Hey guys, so it's a day before the stag and dough, and we have the haul for the whole day to get ready. So I'm just like getting everything ready. <laughs> um, Hong's gonna pick me up like right now. And we're gonna buy all the liquor together because the permit is under my name. I think I wanna get everything set up today. And then we won't have to do too much tomorrow on the actual day of the event. So that's <laughs> what we're doing. It's such a mess in this house right now. But I also packed all this stuff. This is all the stuff that we need for like decorating and everything. Um, I still have to make 12 more packs of jello shots. I'll show you what the fridge looks like now. Ta-da! Look at all those. Progress. Progress. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. But yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go because Hong's gonna be here any minute. Okay, bye. So Hong picks me up and we are on our way to the hall and Jordan's here and he's helping as well. He's pretty much your right hand man today. And then I'll just be setting up the hall. Tong's gonna be running around with Jordan. We're in the hall. This is the hall and what it looks like with nothing in it. I'll just go in the corner so you can get a full view. This is the bar area. And then all this is gonna have the raffle tables, some tables to eat, eating area, the kitchen area is over there. We're gonna hang some stuff up here and uh, it'll be cute. Very cute, right? Very cute, oh my <laughs> gosh, so cute. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go buy some liquor. So this is what we got. Got some white claws, some wine, another case of wine. Now we're at the beer store and we're gonna get a bunch of beer. How much did you say? 10, 10, 10. 10 of each beer. Like 10. 10, 10 beer. 10 cans of beer. <laughs> That's a lot of beer. That's a lot of beer. It's a lot of alcohol. Oh my gosh. We better sell all this. <laughs> Thanks, Jordan. No problem. <laughs> it is so windy. There was actually like a thunderstorm, like tornado warning. So there's that. Um, we're at Canadian Tire and we're picking up the balloons. There's our balloon. We got the goods. Wow, he wasn't even holding it. We just fit. We just fit. Okay, watch yourself. That was a crazy experience, right, Jordan? Guys, it is packed in there. Jordan's in there somewhere. I love our drinks. Wave, Jordan. <laughs> okay, let's just get this stuff to the hall. So we're now at the hall and um now it's time to set up some like tables and chairs and stuff what's this round oh. um, okay let's get started okay so we're starting to set up and boo 
brought all the games all the way from Grimsby, all the heavy tables. We got Plinko, Crack the Code. And now we're setting up some tables. And then Beer and Amber are coming. Are you gonna say a speech I to tomorrow? Like my, uh, <laughs> your spiel. My spiel thingy. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to David. Okay guys, we have the shirts ready. <laughs> HJ, Craig, and Joe, Carmel. Brown. And we have some bridesmaids and groomsmen here helping out, testing out the games. Let's just do a fun one. Okay. And then who else? And then Vuvo. Always Vuvo. Best man. Another shipment came through. Whoa. Hong's back. So it's later on in the evening, and Amber and I are making a balloon arch. We have a weight here and a weight on the other side, and then we have. Um, the string going down straight and then we're gonna tie helium balloons to the string and then it's gonna make a little arch and it's gonna be lifted by the helium balloons. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if I have enough balloons. So we found the middle and then we're just gonna work our way out. Right, Amber? Right. <laughs> okay, so hopefully it all works because I've never done this before and she's never done this before. I just saw pictures of it and it seems pretty easy, so. Let's see, all the balloons were like $200. Helium has gone up, just so you know. I love how it's looking. Kids games, dessert table, buffet table. People are gonna be eating over here. There's like games at the back wall there. Raffle prizes and stuff. Entrance, and there you go. It's coming together. We're just tying them up. Super easy, right Amber? Yeah. It's even nice if the strings are hanging. Oh yeah, no yeah. That would be a good idea. And then a million more to go. I think we're done the balloon arch. Obviously it's not gonna look like this. We have to arch it over the whole thing. We used some extra ones for the tables. Amber is actually curling the bottoms of them. Yeah, they look way better curled. <laughs> way better. Like this is before. Oh my god, it looks so bad. So Josh is here now. The brother. And the other brother and the sister-in-law, Angela. Hi, Angela. Hi, Angela. <laughs> Angela there. Mark is in the back. Wow. Okay. Wow. That looks amazing. Yeah. Second of the decade, yo. Felix has arrived. Yeah, like right there. Or pull it down on your side, Julie. Or... Yeah. We're pretty much done. We have to do a few more things, but this is what it looks like now. So you walk in, and you're greeted at check-in, and then you see all this. How nice does that look? So this is the check-in area and the packages. And then you have a little photo booth area, carnival themed. And then this is where all the raffle prizes will be that you can um, put your tickets in. That is where all the food is. And then we got some games down this side. And then the bar area, nice open bar area. And then that's it. Pretty nice, right guys? finished finalizing all of the gift cards that we got and I just want to thank everyone for donating to our stag and dough we actually got so many generous um, gift cards and vouchers so awesome and then um, also special thanks to everyone who donated an actual prize look at all of that 
there's just so many fun prizes here just a little close up i think i like that is all lululemon gear with a one month um la fitness membership and then some pasta caesars this is handmade by the way um some thrive products some home baskets um you have these baskets as well this is like a hundred dollar dab gift card um, it's a cannabis gift card and then there's like all of these are made as well lotto tickets oh and felix over here is making all the signs thanks felix <laughs> we're actually really tired beer pong game i'll show you guys all this okay this is the grand prize twenty five hundred dollars okay felix the artist he actually also donated um a hand painted custom. yeah customized sweater painted with bleach you guys have to check out his instagram because he does that a lot I customized sweaters yeah my instagram name is uh god child but instead of an l it's a seven yes so check him out because it's really cool look at kids for the kids games i did we're doing free kids games and also amber my cousin donated because she's also a photographer and a nurse but this is um, a voucher for a couple session worth 300 dollars. like what the heck Thank you, everyone. Some gift baskets over here. Look at that. Two nights stay at an Airbnb in Niagara Falls from Hong's sister. An AirPods Pro. Ooh. Hello. Someone donated that. Our friend, D Nice, Denny. We have some Nest Hubs, a couple of them. And we have this basket that was donated by Hong's sister again. Look at that. That's actually nuts more dab gift cards dab actually gave us 500 dollars worth of gift cards like a bunch of hundred dollar ones and then yeah this is merch from a, another cannabis place and then we're just gonna like add a gift card to it oh my gosh and that that's like such a beautiful prize this is a cannabis um company that's it guys good night Okay guys, I'm here with Felix now and we're making the rest of the signs. It still looks good, even if it's like a little bit sloppy. Just outline it and just do that. Hey guys, so I'm just getting ready. Um, it's like, I'm so tired. <laughs> It's like almost one. The event starts at six, and um, I'm probably gonna go over there like right now. I'm excited. I'm just really tired. I went to sleep really late just because I felt like I wasn't 100% completely ready yet. I just didn't feel like I had it all together yet. But after I organized a few things and like looked over a few things, then I felt better and then I could like sleep. <laughs> But um, I actually had to go to work this morning and then um, he's out getting stuff and I think he should be at the hall like right now and then I'm just going to meet him there. So I'm excited to see everything like all put together. It was pretty much put together last night but with the lights and um, with all the people there and everything. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun. Okay guys, it's the day of the event. Here's the food. First steak and dough, Caesar salad, pizza, spring rolls. All that, all this Filipino food, dude. Tatada, fino, chicken wings. 
And then this is like double of that. Pancit, rice, pasta, and it's gonna be meatballs. Got some pork over here. Some roast pork. Ooh. Charcuterie. Some dessert. Oh my gosh. My titas and my mom, they did good. They did good. Ooh, so this is what it looks like. Some people are here now. Here we go. What do you guys like? I like crown. David, let's do it. Watch this, guys. That's how you make money. Womp, womp. <laughs> All right, I'm looking for the grand prize, $2,500 trip. Any around the world, blink go. Oh, big money. Big money. Watch this. One more. One more. One more. My lucky day. Whoa. It is a day after this day get down in the morning 
they just said good morning, but whatever. Um, we are so like crazily happy about the turnout. So many people were there. Um, the food was amazing. My titas and my parents and um, Atajana, they killed the food <laughs> and all the donations and all that. You guys are so generous. And you guys could see the raffle table. It was very, very, very good. That's what everyone was saying. I don't go to too many steak and tails, but that's what everyone was saying that it was crazy. And we are now here back at the hall and we have to pick up all the stuff that we rented and we have to bring it back. Okay, this is all the stuff that we have to take back. The stuff that Vu brought. <clears throat> So we didn't film a proper outro to this video, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching our steak and dough video. The steak and dough turnout was amazing. I couldn't have imagined a better steak and dough for us. It was so much fun. Thank you so much for everyone who donated and put in time and money for all the planning. We've never planned anything like this before and I must say that it is, I would say, harder to plan than an oh, actual wedding. So be prepared if you're trying to plan it yourself. If you have any questions on planning or anything, you can DM us or leave it in the comments below. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who came out to help support us and to hang out with us, celebrate with us. It was so nice to catch up with everyone after all that COVID craziness. And yeah, there will be a lot more videos coming soon. So we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.